I'm going to show you something that happened recently. Some of you may be aware of this and some of you not. So this is a video about, there was a, there was a town meeting that a number of people uh, uh, spoke at, including one shopkeeper from New York. And uh, after the meeting, he was interviewed by the, the, pr the press, the TV, and one of the attendees at the meeting was upset about the fact that the press was concentrating on him instead of concentrating on what she regarded as the issues at hand. So I'm going to play this for you to begin with. Now what I'm trying to show you, I want to show you what it means for someone to be ideologically possessed. And so you can tell when you're talking to someone like that because and this is something I learned from reading Solzhenitsyn is because you can predict absolutely everything they're going to say. Once you know the algorithmic substructure of their political ideology, which is usually predicated on about five or six axioms, you can use the axioms to automatically generate speech content. You don't even have to hear the person, you can just predict what they're going to say. And so that alleviates any responsibility whatsoever they have for thinking. And it also allows them to believe that they have full control and full knowledge over the, not only full control and full, full knowledge about the entire world, but also the capacity to distinguish without a moment's thought between those who are on the side of the good and those who are not. And that's where the danger really comes. So anyways, we'll take a look at this. And so right now, um, the news is interviewing uh, a person whose daughter um, was a heroin addict, I think, is what he said in his public comment. And he's pro bunker, he's pro cops, and so he's the one getting interviewed. And there are like a million people who have spoken about how they've been uh, abused by the cops, but they're not being they're not being spoken to. Only the person who's pro bunker, who's also a person of color, so they got their token, and that's the one that they're using. And I no idea we'll find out. Yeah. You want my name? Yeah, sure. It's humongous. Okay. Humongous what? Humongous what? Humongous. Humongous what? Humongous. Humongous what? Humongous. Humongous what? That's what it is. Humongous what? Is that sexual harassment? No, it's humongous. Then why did you say that to me? It's my name. What? Humongous what? Humongous what? Humongous what? Is that sexual harassment? Is that what you just did when you said that to me? What, humongous? Why would you say that to me? Yes, but my name. Why would you say that to me? Why would I say it to Why you? would you say that to me? Why would you ask me my name? What? Humongous what? Humongous what? Humongous what? Humongous what? This person just sexually, just, just spoke to me in a sexually harassing oh, way. I did not. Yeah, he did. Oh, no. He said, he said, do you know what my name is? And I, I said, said what? And name. he said, humongous. What? Yeah, what? yeah. This person just sexually harassed me. I said I'm humongous. Yes, yeah, that's right. Humongous what? Humongous. Oh, oh, oh. So now you're, humongous. so now you're actually pointing to yourself. You're actually pointing to your body parts, and you're actually pointing to your body parts and saying that you're humongous. You're actually doing that. And this is the person who just got interviewed as a pro bunker person of color, as if you, as if you represent us. I, I, they, they're using you as a token, and then you speak to me in a sexually harassing manner. How dare you! How dare you! you Disgusting! Oh, Disgusting! You left me saying your daughter's lives matter, but Disgusting! Disgusting. You, you just you abused a woman! You just abused a woman, and you have the audacity! You have the audacity to say that girls matter! How dare you! How dare you, you disgusting person! Disgusting! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Are you gonna do anything about how he sexually harassed me? Are you gonna do anything about how he sexually harassed me? Are you going to I need to go. Okay, he's asking to leave. He's asking me to leave after I've been sexually harassed. I'm just asking. You're asking me to leave after I've been sexually harassed. Did you ask him to leave? Did you ask him to leave? Did you ask him to are you following him? Did you ask him to stop sexually harassing me? What what is your name? What is your name? What is your name? What is your name? 
ma'am. What is your name? You work for the city. We are here in a public place. You need to tell me what your name is. My name is Tanel. Yeah. And Tanel I work what? for a security firm. I Tanel do not work what? for the city, okay? You and work I, for us. So you don't work I'm for us. So that means I don't have to do what I, you want. I need you, I need you don't you work for us. That means I don't have to do what you want. Stop raising your voice at me. What is your name? You are, right what is now your you name? are breaking our building rules. You're being No, disorderly. no, sorry. No, yes. no. I'm, 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 what is your name? What is your name? What is your name? I've already told you my name. What is your no no you haven't? What is your full name? What is your full name and what company do you work for? What is your full name? Universal protection. My name is Tanel Stefanes. Why are you okay. why are you questioning her? And what I'm, was I'm being just asking her? You are questioning the wrong person. He just said he just said that he works. He just said that he works for a security company, not the city. So I don't have to do what he wants. So fuck off. Who are you? Who are you? Did you go after the person who sexually harassed me? Did you go off? This is this is this is universal protection security service. Notice how they didn't get the cops here. Notice how they didn't get the cops here today. They just got some more cops basically. So why did you do nothing about the person who sexually harassed me? I made it very clear he just sexually harassed me. Why did you not go up to him and tell him to stop? Why did you not do that? Why did you not do that? Why did you not do that? You deal with the gentleman. The gentleman's gone already. He so was a gentleman. He was. Oh, why are you here? Why are you still here? We because we're being really loud and we're disrupting. Uh, is it being loud a crime? It is. It is. It's not. It's no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. She's standing rules. up for herself. I understand, man. No, you don't. You don't understand anything. If you don't understand anything.